Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here. Today we're continuing our look at back at the new Teen Titans Baxter series from 1985. Today we're looking at issues number seven and eight. These are illustrated by Jose Luis Garcia Lopez after George Perez had left um, to go on and draw um, Crisis on Infinite Earths. So some interesting times for the Teen Titans. So I can't wait to show it to you guys. So make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Please hit that like button. I'm gonna cue the intro and I'll be right back. It's Troy TV. All right, guys, so here we go. Um, it's funny, uh, this is from the Titans Baxter series, and basically the Baxter series refers to the type of paper, it was Baxter paper, this really like heavier stock from the newsprint, um, supposedly better printing. I do believe it might be the flexographic printing, which explains like the really bright garish colors. Um, Anyway, these are uh, direct market, like comic book stores started exploding in the 80s and really sort of saving um, the industry in a way as comics started disappearing from newsstands like 7-Eleven and grocery stores uh, eventually discontinued carrying comics. And it's funny because it sort of turned it into a niche market and almost killed it in a lot of ways. Um, I think comic books were you know, so uh, well sold, um, you know, in high numbers because of their readily available, you know, like at 7-Eleven or the grocery store. I remember going to the grocery store and getting a lot of my comic books, um, which was great. You know, a lot of people don't have access to a comic book store, especially when you're a kid. And now they're super unaffordable anyway. So anyway, yeah, that like with the higher uh, quality paper and printing comes a higher price. They were $1.25. I know that sounds cheap now, but by 1985 standard, it was a little more expensive. So like I said, uh, George Perez and Marv Wolfman kicked off the series. Amazing. The story of the Terror of Trigon. I covered that already. Um, this is Perez leaving the book. He's on for this cover. It's the story of Lilith. Introducing the character of Azrael. I love Starfire on this cover. This is great. This is George Perez doing something pretty artistic for him outside of regular penciling and inking, which I love when artists do things like that. And this is um, a painting over a photograph. And I think it looks super cool. And I love it. And um, then we have the introduction, interesting B for Vendetta, based on the... Um, initial TV series, the comic book from DC. I don't know if I got that or not. I don't think I did, but um, adaptations like that are very hit or miss, I think. Um, so I don't remember if it was good or not. Feel free to chime in on the comments and let me know if you read V, if it's worth checking out, if it was any good. I remember being like obsessed with the TV series as we all were back in the day. Um, I remember being horrified and terrified and just like very forlorn that George Perez was leaving the Titans. He was the co-creator. He was the artist that drew me into DC and took me to the dark side. I was a Marvel zombie and um, I didn't look back. I love the art. And now I have to say, I, I think I remember in um, interviews that Jose Luis Garcia Lopez was suggested by Perez, so obviously he had a stamp of approval. I think it's definitely a tough act to follow. Um, Wolfman and Perez are so synonymous with the Titans that it's hard to look past it. That said, this art is gorgeous. Jose Luis Garcia Lopez is a master storyteller, a huge face of DC Comics, like in the late 70s and the 80s. You know, he really established a lot of the look, uh, classic look of the characters. He was responsible for a lot of the style guides, 
like Wonder Woman's um, merchandising to this day definitely carries a lot of Garcia Lopez art. And it's really beautiful. So Mark Wolfman writing solo without Perez. Um, Jose Luis Garcia Lopez, penciler, Romeo Tanghal, colorist, or I'm sorry, anchor, Phil Felix, letterer, and Adrian Roy, colorist. So you still have most of the team intact with um, Romeo Tanghal inking and Adrian Roy coloring. And I have to say, I really loved uh, the combination of Perez and Tanghal as penciler and anchor. And um, this gives me new respect for Romeo Tanghal as an anchor. I think he did a really beautiful job on this art, and I think they're a great combination here. Um, Asriel, I don't know, some of these like later additions to the Titans, like Cole and Asriel and Jericho, seemed a little, I don't know, more Greek gaudy, mythology, mythological um, in a way that sort of, a little less superhero-y from the original core titans that i don't know somehow they didn't jive that well i like tara i thought she was a good fit and that was the first issue tara joins the titans is the first issue of the titans i ever bought this is so beautiful and i don't know it really speaks to just the mastery of uh, jose luis garcia lopez like he just doesn't shy away from any like different angle any um, amount of detail, like the people in the crowd look so realistic. Like this totally looks like he must be using reference, but if he's pulling from his imagination, like it's so impressive, like the different angles. He does a lot of these upshots with the faces and it's just really gorgeous artwork. I can see why, I feel like he's one of those artists, like they could say an artist, artist that is just so respected by his, Pierce and Revered, um, he did a lot of, like, important books. I want to say he did, like, um, Superman versus Wonder Woman, for sure, which is a great book, which I covered here. Um, this seems like such a trope from old school comic books where, like, some, either a villain or just, like, an obsessive character, like, swoops in, picks up Lilith, and, like, just immediately starts making out with her. Like, what the hell, right? And, um... It's funny, I think um, I have a new respect and love for this art. Like, I was a little bitter towards it in the beginning because, like I said, no one can follow Perez. And I really just, like, it, it, a lot of it always just made me want Perez's Titans more. But I have to say, like, truly beautiful art. Like, just, like, the detail uh, and storytelling level, storytelling level is definitely right up there with Perez, so... I mean, some people might even argue that they like Garcia Lopez's art better. I don't know. Thea, the introduction of Thea. I love this character. This is such a great story. I mean, he just does not skimp on the detail, like the statues here and the skyline in the background and the sun and just the the skylight. I mean, it's just freaking amazing the way he draws <clears throat> clothing, the drapery of the clothing. It's like, this is what... You know, it's fun to draw muscles and guns and just, like, whatever. But I really, I can't stress enough, like, just taking the time to learn how to draw and know what you're drawing and just, like, it just adds so much depth. And, like, in a way, it's almost like a magic trick because when it's, the art is good and right, like, as far as the perspective and just, like, anatomy and everything, you don't notice it. It's, like, when it's wonky and effed up as like when you notice it a mile away and it's like a trick it's like making it look so easy like that expression easy as pie because it's not easy to bake a pie but it seems like it would be it's not easy to draw a comic book i don't know does it seem like it would be everyone thinks they can do it um i love these upshot angles like so good like i just love the way he's constantly moving the camera around to tell the story and just like little artistic things. This is why comic books are so great and movies will never be comic books. And I guess vice versa, arguing argue, for the sake of argument. I mean, I love movies. Who am I trying to get? Um, but I just love that how her hair flows into her hair from one panel to the next. Like that's just a fun like framing device for comic book storytelling. 
just the way he's breaking up the panels and stuff, you know, it's like, you want you say like, why would somebody do that? But it's like to control the pacing and things like that. I love the glass and the window just melting here and pouring through that always, that effect always just made me kind of lessen the blow of, uh, you know, a new artist taking over Paris. Like the fact that it was so beautiful, like in a way he, he made you like, dared you not to love it. I mean, these great angles and this, I mean, it's so much fun. And I love it because it's like, I feel like, um, you know, especially post image comics, you're like always going for a money shot on a page. And I feel like there were fewer and far between in older comic books because they were more about like telling the story and, um, and less about the money shots. Um, I think the role for image artists is like, you have to have one money shot on a page, you know, to up the price value of the page. But I feel like even like the mini, little mini panels that he's drawing are like kind of like the money shots of the page. I really love it. And to add for a crisis, I mean, come on, that is some gorgeous Perez art right there. I mean, and then like, what a, a teaser, teaser. It's like, this is what we had and this is what we now have. But I like it. I really do like it. It's good. Even Perez would say, you know, the the only problem with artists who followed him on the book was, you know, that the, it just wasn't Perez. And, you know, he, Perez just made them who they are and, like, tough act to follow. Anyway, I love this panel here. I love how the figures are all kind of... <laughs> Even if they have to, like, crouch their head, they're fitting in the panel. That's fun. I kind of like that. Um, his mastery of anatomy is, like, super impressive. There's some panels coming up that hopefully point them out. And, it, you know, it's kind of amazing. I think he did, like, several issues in a row. And, like, just to have this level of detail on a monthly basis is just so crazy. I wonder if, like, what kind of head start he had, if any... Here's Donna and Corey flying around the shambles of Paradise Island. Once again, Paradise Island. Devastated. Like, they're constantly being conquered. Um, this, oh yeah, this, like, Changeling's uh, anatomy here in musculature. It's, like, sort of Gil Kane in a way, so how it's, like, they're almost drawing, like, walking like like minus their skin you just see all the muscles and i love how like just his pose like it just seems so natural and it makes you think like god is he working for models or um is this just coming out of his head because it's amazing just the way he's got his arm up and the other arm folded and just the way his ab muscles sort of hang perfectly i mean it's just super impressive it's what m makes for a great comic book artist and great comic book art. And then we'll go on to issue eight, just cause that was so amazing. I feel like this isn't, even though you, there's no signature visible. Oh yeah, here it is, I was right. Eduardo Barreto. Um, I felt like uh, he was another artist who kind of followed Perez that I did not like as much as Jose Luis Garcia Lopez. And looking back, there's nothing wrong with his art. Very classic comic book art, you know, very detailed. But it almost reminds me of like those old like Bible comics or something. I don't know. Maybe that's maybe that's not the best assessment. I don't know. But anyway, so this is the second issue post Perez, and we've got Marv Wolfman writer Jose Luis Garcia Lopez penciler, Romeo Chang Hall inker, John Costanza letterer, and Adrian Roy colorist. Um, I mean, the detail is here for days. It's funny because not it's not to knock because they do have that Bible, DC Bible comics and the art is just lush and gorgeous. And it's kind of epic like that and scope like this. I love how there's just so much going on. He just like puts so much into one single page. I think he was like well aware of the fact that he's following George Perez perhaps. Or maybe he just always gives this. I need to look into his dead man and some of his other stuff. I always love this, like the dramatic lighting on her face. I always thought that was such a cool um, shot right there. And of course made me love this villainous Lilith's mom. 
it's so funny too. Um, and then she makes love with Willis' father, like has an affair with this guy, and then just burns him alive, just like a black widow to conceive Willis. And then Karma's a bitch. Will gets kidnapped and raised elsewhere outside of her. Who knows what crisis on infinite earths did to Will's uh, origin, but that's what we got for here. Who knows what it did here in general. Have we even seen her since crisis? Probably. Give me a break, right? All these years later. There is a lot of, I don't know, it's funny because I do see, and maybe that's just the uh, influence of uh, Romeo Tanghal's angst, but sometimes like the close up the eyes and stuff, it's like not very far from how Piraz might draw that panel right there. This is very different though. I feel like that is not very Perazian, but very cool. I love, I love how he draws Donna and Corey. Very nice. Good job, H. G L G Jose Luis Garcia Lopez. Yeah, that's almost as difficult to say as his full name is the initials. Anyway, some fun action shots. Once again, Prize probably wouldn't do that, I don't think. But if you can't have Perez, not a bad villain, eh guys? What's your favorite work by Jose Luis Garcia Lopez? I like how he draws Superman. And Batman, he draws a mean Batman, too. So, I mean, it's not like he's not a great artist. I mean, so much detail, so much action, so much going on here. It's really gorgeous. Just some beautiful stuff. This is like epic Titans at its best, too. And once again, this could easily be a Perez page. So, I'll take it beautiful stuff and it continues next issue oh an ad for an infinity ink i love them anyway so that was teen titans baxter series number seven and eight illustrated by the amazing jose luis garcia lopez thanks so much for watching please subscribe to my channel hit like share my content and i'll bring you some more soon thanks guys